This is a regular disco ball, one of my favorite objects in the whole world. And this is my DIY disco ball. It's very smart. The best way to see it is in the dark. If it sees something yellow, it will actually turn yellow but also any other color. It uses this cheap microphone that reacts to my voice as I talk. So, up, 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 up. This is so much fun to play around with. And is definitely essential if you're going to organize a party. If you want to make this yourself, I open sourced all of the code and the design. It's in the video description. So let's see how I made it. I started sketching the disco ball in the shape of a football. I did this in uh, 2D in Affinity Designer, so I can use a laser cutter to cut it all out. I'm going to cut the base on these sheets, which are 3mm plywood sheets. This is an X-Tool laser cutter. Currently, it's busy on one of our designs. So let's wait till it is finished and then we can assemble it. It took a while to assemble this, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Next up, I'm going to place the LEDs. So I have the LED strip right here. Each of these hexagons are getting some LEDs. I'm going to cut up this LED strip, place them like on each hexagon. If I'm going to add LEDs on top of this, I still need an outer ring. So the plan is to have like a separate ball around this ball and uh, the LEDs will be placed on this ball and this will be just like to distribute the light. Let's continue. All the LED strips are in place and now it's time to start with soldering. Now that the LEDs are all wired up, it's time to create the inner part of the disco ball. We need something to hold together these transformers. When I plug this into an outlet, everything will turn on. So basically these, uh, these two things make uh, five volts and I wired the plus wire of this, the five volt wire to the Raspberry Pi. So when I put this into an outlet, the Raspberry Pi will turn on. So now it's time to put it into the ball and then uh, start it and see if we can get the lights running. All right, they're working. Let's check out the code. There is a lot of it, but there will be a link to my GitHub in the video description so you can check it out yourself. I started with the piece that reacts to the microphone. Thanks to my friend Chipito and a lot of banging on my desk, I finally got it to work. Next up, it was time to implement the code for the camera. It takes the input stream from the camera and then transforms that into colors on the disco ball. This was relatively simple, but now comes the hard part. I had to make sure that all of the hexagons are divided correctly. To do this, I had to create a very big array, which was a lot of manual work. I mapped the disco ball per rows and per hexagon. I needed to set the start position for each hexagon and the amount of LEDs that are in the hexagon. With this change, we're ready for some effects. Before I'll show this, there's one more step. We need to cover the ball in the diffusion layer. This is where I really started to see the result. This is the same sweater, but it's actually one year later. This thing took me one year to make. Could it have gone faster? Yeah, probably. A lot of things went wrong in this project and I just kept delaying the final build. But I'm super happy I finally finished it and I can actually hang this now in my house as a light, which is pretty cool. Let's check out some of the effects that I created. One of my favorites is the random color. When you click this, each hexagon randomly lights up and it looks really nice. It really feels like a disco ball. Another one of the effects is the YouTube video effect. 
I can play a YouTube video in the background and it will show it on the ball, which is pretty cool. So it's like Ambilight, but then with a YouTube video. Let's give it a proper test, hang it in my living room and organize a party. The mood is set, I've created some veg cocktails and we had some shots, now it's time to party. Not sure if it was the alcohol or the disco ball, but it didn't take long before it went absolutely crazy. I'm pretty happy with the result, it looks amazing. And I, I programmed a lot of effects. There are some limitations though. For example, the hexes are now coded per hex. And if I can actually code it per pixel, I could get a way better uh, effect on the, on the disco ball because it could be way more precise than it's now. So there's still a lot of improvements I can do. Uh, and let me know if you want to see those uh, improvements in a future video, put it in the comments. I might actually uh, take another look at it. The camera works almost great. I don't know if you saw it in the, in the footage of the party, but actually to, uh, to work, this camera needs light. And well, what do you not have at a party usually? Well, light. For future improvements, I would need something like a spotlight maybe and an edit uh, here or like edit on the people that is, uh, that is looking at. And uh, yeah, there are a lot more things that I want to do, uh, a lot more effects actually. Uh, but that's for the future. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a comment, uh, subscribe. Uh, it helps me a lot. And uh, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Whoa,